Lord. Hey everyone, it's me. Oh no, I meant to put a Santa hat on Mr. Skeleton. I bought Mr. Skeleton some festive wear and I forgot to put him. What is that? I forgot to put it on him. What's going on here? Anyway, so today we're going holiday decor hunting or Christmas decor hunting or what? I, I don't know what I'm calling it yet. But I don't like this, whatever this noise is happening. I need to drop off some stuff at the thrift store. So I've got this box of stuff making all sorts of noise today. We're going today. We're going Christmas decor hunting and it's October. And so it feels like I'm going against everything in my being doing this. <laughs> but you know what? We gotta go early because we gotta see what's out there. So anyways, if you're new here, welcome. It's me and good old Mr. Skeleton back there. Um, I'm keeping them for holiday decor hunting because, because I'm bringing the spookiness into the holidays. I'm not gonna ditch Mr. Skeleton when it's a different holiday. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not a fair weather friend. All right, so anyways, if you're new here, what I kind of do is I go to different stores and we look at decorations. I usually do Halloween mostly, but this year I'm gonna incorporate more Christmas decor because really, I'm like pulling out all the things putting them on my floor. Um, but I've been seeing some comments that some of you want to see what what kind of pieces that I'm I'm looking at. like. Cause I like to bring in some dark decor, like into my uh, Christmas decor. So some branchy trees, I do a lot of blacks, silvers, whites, monochromatic kind of style. I overall like a dark style, but I also show all the different decor that stores have. So I don't just show the stuff that I like and that I'm picking out. I show all of the different collections at the store and kind of talk a little bit about each one and kind of what stood out to me in each line, even if it's not my style, things that I thought were unique or cool or whatever. But also this year is really unique in that because of the pandemic, a lot of people are not wanting to get out and go to the stores or they only want to go to the shops where they know they see something that they like so i'm doing the job for you where i'm going to go out and get shots of everything so that way you don't have to bother and go to any of the stores that you don't want to go to or that you don't see anything at and that's kind of what i do so i'm going to do weekly christmas decor hunting videos until we don't see much out all right so today i'm gonna ugh, i'm gonna drive by home goods it's friday and home goods is usually crazy busy hoping we can catch home goods on a friday that's not as busy that's my hope if not we're going to skip home goods today and we're going to go just to at home it may just be an at home kind of day and that's okay too i'm just going to drive by the parking lot and see how it looks oh god it is a mess in this shopping center already uh oh we might just end up going to michael's because this looks bad like really bad like it looks like christmas shopping right now like black friday or something oh maybe we'll go into bath and body works if it's not too busy um there's a shopping cart in the middle of the road that doesn't annoy me at all i think we're gonna go into michael's and then go into bath and body works is what we're gonna do see what they got i'm looking for like a dark foresty vibe even if i have to spray paint some stuff I'm also looking for so like branchy trees, reindeer, woodland creatures. I'm also looking for, I thought about this last year and we'll see what's out there, but I thought about doing like a red theme, peppermint red. In my mind, it's like a red peppermint gothic look, but <laughs> it probably won't turn out like that. Almost like the guy on, wasn't he peppermint? On um, Candyland? He's kind of like a creep or no, he was Lord Licorice. Yeah, he wasn't Peppermint. Lord Licorice is what I'm thinking of, but Peppermint, <laughs> that vibe. Like Candyland, evil Candyland. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, yeah, anyways, if it's not your style, don't worry, I'm gonna show a bunch of different stuff. So we're gonna go in to Michael's and see what they got. Headed to Bath and Body Works now. Just left Michael's. We're going. Anyways, I just ran into funniest thing ever, you guys. Funniest thing. So if you watched Halloween decor hunting, um, I ran into one of y'all named Kayla at Home Goods, and we chit chatted for a little while. Then today she was like, "Hey Jade," and I turned around and it's Kayla at 
Bath and Body Works. We're feeling the same kind of vibes all the time. Kayla, we're feeling the same kind of vibes, I feel like. So I went to Michael's and Michael's had some stuff out, actually less stuff than I thought they were gonna have. I figured Halloween would be cleared out by now and they'd have all Christmas because they started getting Christmas ribbon out in like August or something. So they had a bunch of throw pillows. They had throw pillows that were more of like a vibe of like a winter wonderland where it was like beige or cream or white with silver snowflake or a silver tree on the pillow. They had some red and white themes. So like a red pillow that said j uh, jingle and white, I think it was, or like one that said the happiest time of the year, or the, what, what did it say? The most wonderful season of all, or the most, I don't know what it said. The most, the happiest season of all? Is that what it said, the happiest season of all? I believe it did, like the ha happiest season of all. It's October, I'm not doing this. They had some stockings, they had stocking holders. One was a nutcracker. There was one that I think was like a gingerbread house. They had a reindeer, a Christmas tree, and I think that's all I saw. Then I went down another aisle that had some Santas. They had a bunch of different Santas. Santa's holding sleighs, Santa's holding wreaths, Santa's with, what, I don't, I don't, like, oh, like a lumberjack looking Santa, <laughs> lumberjack Santa, and then they had a Santa that was wearing like all white or cream or something. They had some, oh, then they had some woodland creatures, so they did have some cute woodland creatures that were this kind of like, where they're kind of like rough feeling, they feel like wood or like sticks, hay. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like grassy feel to them. They had some owls. They had like a little family of owls. Deer, they had some deer. They did have deer, little baby deer, fawns, little fawns. And then they had some penguins and some polar bears, like a big polar bear and then a small polar bear. And then they had a whole little area of all these jingle bells. And all the jingle bells to me looked pretty rustic. Like they all were kind of like this tarnished looking, they're more like rustic looking. Saw some nutcrackers. I saw like a nutcracker with a guitar, a nutcracker that was, was it a doctor? A skier? And then I saw a bunch of garland, a bunch of garland. They had everything from peppermint garlands to like uh, just classic Christmas colors to little like bubblegum pink looking like donut unicorn things they had like little sloths then they had ones that were like more bluish and snowflakes and they had all sorts of different garland just hanging up i'll show all of it if i can they also had this area that had all of these welcome signs all of these holiday welcome signs that say noel or welcome they're like the wooden looking type of signs that you can put on your front door or inside or whatever you want to do with it um, lots of signs like that and they had some wreaths. I got some shots of them But I didn't get all of them because there was somebody standing in one area of them But I did get a couple of them There was like this white one with all of these Christmas colors that said believe but I think some elf legs hanging from it Maybe um, then there was this really pretty kind of centerpiece that said I think it, I don't know if it said Merry Christmas Or maybe it was like mint or was it a light sage? I don't know but everything I had this like you know, like the flocking on it. But they did have some stuff out. Nothing that really stood out to me if we're being 100% honest. We'll go back to Michael's uh, after Halloween is over to kind of get a good look at all the collections. So then I went to Bath and Body Works where I saw Kayla. They had some Christmas stuff out. They had a lot of cute stuff. They had a bunch of different plugins. I don't even know if I'm gonna remember off the top of my head all the different ones, but I'm gonna try. They had a really cute Nutcracker one. They had this one plugin that was kinda similar. Okay, not similar at all to the Halloween one, but it had a projector like the Halloween one. It was this kind of Christmas house and then it projects onto the wall and, ha and says Merry Christmas. It had a Christmas tree that had like the, almost looked like a real tree. They had a snowman head one. They had a snowflake like that was more of like the blue and white um, and then whatever I'm not remembering from that area I'll just keep showing because I'm sure I'm missing something from that little area had like a dove plug-in they had a tree that was more of like a geometric looking Christmas tree 
they had some really cute pedestals they had one pedestal was that was the snowman it was like a clear snowman and then it had all this glitter floating around inside and another one that was a pedestal that had a ball one had all this glitter inside and then it had a snowflake that kind of rotates around it was the coolest looking pedestal they also had this other little pedestal thing it was like this little setting that you put your candle on and it had like little trees and little woodland creatures on it i don't know but it was really cute they had a little geometric looking candle holder it wasn't really a pedestal but it was more of like a holder and one with uh what was it like a like a snowman maybe and like some trees and they had another silver and white one that was all snowflakes and then they had some gold looking ones that were more of like green and red and gold and they were more of like like sleighs maybe santas or i don't know what was on those ones the really quick last thing i saw at bath and body works saw some of their pocket back holders for their little um antibacterial hand sanitizer is what it's for um there was was a reindeer one that was really cute they had it had like gl uh, glitter horns and they had a snowman one that had this like snow it was a clear plastic and then it had snow inside of it and then I think I'm forgetting another one so I saw a bunch of Christmas stuff there it is full on Christmas at Bath and Body Works that's what I saw at Michael's and Bath and Body Works so now we are going into at home we're doing the thing All right, guys, just left at home. No joke, I was in there for 30 minutes getting clips and I still didn't get it all. Oh my gosh, this person just bought all these balloons and they are in the air, flying away. Oh no. I feel, so, I mean, it's from Dollar Tree, but I still feel so bad. I mean, like literally all of them just flew away. That sucks. All right, so first things first, I saw some Christmas trees, a lot of Christmas trees. I saw a bunch of green trees, green trees that were just like evergreens, green trees with white flocking, a lot of green trees with white flocking this year, different colored lights. I saw a teal tree and then I saw a white tree with flocking and a, my favorite tree ever, which is the black Christmas tree with the flocking. It's so beautiful, but Honestly, the more I give it thought, I don't know if I want a black Christmas tree or not. I mean, if I if I got one, that's the one I would get for sure. It's a $300 tree, I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I just drool over it every year. But I have a white tree and I'm not mad at it because I kind of prefer the black, like I can do more with black branches and black ornaments and kind of some spooky black ornaments. And so I'm not mad at that. So I got shots of a lot of the different trees I just walked through. Also some outdoor stuff, like they had some reindeer, a couple different light up reindeer. They had like this big tree, like branchy light up tree and um, some lanterns. They had some really, like this one really big lantern that had some garland at the bottom or like a wreath or something at the bottom of it. Different outdoor signs that said different things. I don't know if it said Merry Christmas or Jingle Bells or a little bit of everything. Also, I saw a lot of blow up things for outside too. They had the Grinch, they had, but they had like a bunch of different blow up ones that were smaller. And then they had these huge blow up ones in this whole section that was like one big blow up wonderland. And it was like, they had a big snowman. And I think there was like a thing that said Merry Christmas. They had like a bunch of different, uh, was it reindeer? And I don't know if they had elves or I don't even know what I saw. I know I saw elf. Like I saw this blow up stand up thing of Will Ferrell as elf. They also had, Ralph from A Christmas Story that was in his bunny suit that was a blow up, which was kind of funny. And then they had this snowman that had like, that was like shivering, like shaking, that said brain freeze. I do remember that one. They had a bunch of different blow up things in that area. I can't even remember. I was just so shocked to see all these blow up things that I don't even know if I could tell what they were. They were huge. All right, so as far as the different lines go, the first line I saw was this like jeweled, jeweled Noel or something is, I think it was called jeweled Noel. It had a lot, like the first area I saw of it was a lot of religious kind of pieces. Um, so they had a lot of different pieces, but lots of Jesus in the manger and Mary and Joseph and everybody was there, the whole party. 
the three wise men. <laughs> they had this one that was like this globe. It was like a glass globe that had a star on the top. And that was really cool. It was kind of like on a little pedestal thing. They also had one that was this, um, what was the other one? Oh, it was just like a whole gold setup. Like the whole thing was gold. It was really gaudy, but really cool. And then a continuance from that, they had some like gold reindeer and some gold crowns and with lots of jewels and lots and lots and lots of angels, really pretty looking angels. Some were like the angels and the dresses, kind of like they do the witches in the dresses, you know, with the pretty dresses on during Halloween. It's like angels with the pretty dresses on. Lots of gold, lots of glittery kind of jewel it's called jewel noel so that's that's kind of where it was at so then i went through the what was it called the ho hoedown uh holiday hoedown is when it was called and it was really like a more of like a rustic vibe so kind of what we saw at michael's like they did actually have like a little fawn i think it was or maybe it was a chipmunk i think it was a fawn though that had the little it's like brush whatever bark is what it's made out of it's like a woodsy look to it um they had a lot of dark kind of pine colors or forest green type of colors and dark maroons and browns and wood kind of stuff and and in that kind of realm and like color scheme they had santas they had reindeer they had little woodland creatures they had some different signs that said different things but that were all like within a color scheme and kind of all looked like oh also in the holiday hoedown they had some churches. One of them was really cool. It was this white church. They had, had these branches that were kind of coming up, um, kind of surrounding the church. Saw that, then there was like another church that had kind of like more of a cross and was a little bit differently, more like beige I think. I mean, I don't even know what else they had. Lots of Santas, I think. Each theme, they also have all these ornaments that go with each theme. If I miss some of it, at least you'll get the idea of what the theme is. So if you're not into the theme, then you probably won't be into the ornaments or you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna have to continue this later because I am almost home. All right, so I'm back home, I had a snack. So some of my lipstick's missing, but it's all right. We just finished talking about the, what was it? The hoedown. Um, and the next thing I think it was called like winter tides or winter tidings or something like that collection where it was a lot of silver and a lot of like silver and white is what it was mainly. Lots of silver reindeer, lots of silver trees, snowflakes and lots of silver, uh, like metallic silver reindeer. And they also had glittery reindeer and glittery trees like little christmas looking trees santas and what else they had like this thing that said joy they had like a, a sleigh what else did i see were there any snow globes <laughs> or am i just imagining lots of like snowflake silver and white trees and reindeer and santas that kind of thing um like a glistening silver and white foresty kind of vibe i guess anyways then they also had this little area that had some signs maybe or maybe it was just like these hanging things and they had this big acrylic snowflake that was so cool and then the ornaments that went with that line once again lots of silver sparkly metallic silver and whites that kind of thing so the next line i saw was more like elves lots of elves like if you think of elf the movie is kind of what it reminded me of lots of elves lots of classic christmas colors red and green and sparkly and kind of it was like a santa's elf kind of workshop kind of deal figurines and different signs that said stuff about elves uh like a little snowman and little reindeer and penguins and like a little pole that said north pole on it lots of christmas colors so red and green and gold and like all these like kind of playful colors they had like a christmas tree looking thing that said merry christmas lots of glitter very playful very bright but lots of cutesy fun bright glittery kind of stuff in that little selection and they had some really pretty wreaths that had that has all the little ornaments on it they had one that was just like red and green and gold and then they had a red and white one like little uh, bristle brush trees or bottle brush trees is what they call them uh with like i don't know red and green ornaments on them kind of cutesy and then all the garland and everything was very much like little elf legs and little elves and bright colors once again okay so the next line i think it was like mod mr and mrs claus or something like that or 
mod Mrs. Claus, or I don't even know what it's called, but that was very much like the, um, the Halloween mod section where they had the little mod houses, like a little Christmas or winter looking mod house. So I know the Halloween mod houses sold out in 2.5 seconds. Like I saw it the one time we went and never saw it any other time I went to at home. So I feel like these are going to once again fly off the shelves. They are not gonna last very long. They also had a, a little vintage looking reindeer that was kind of this reddish magenta color. They had some really cute throw pillows that were kind of pink and uh blue and they had some really cool ornaments in that mod section some like, star looking ornaments and one of it was like a glittery pink looking thing they had like disco balls and like different kinds of uh and like tinsel it was a lot of bright colors pinks and blues and that kind of thing um but definitely the mod house i would say was the coolest thing in that line also they had this victorian line all like a lot of rosy blushy pinks angels and do they have trees or they had like swans or something i think it was swans or flamingos <laughs> i don't know what it was they had some trees a lot of reindeer like gold reindeer and then i think it was either a pink reindeer or pink swan and then a white swan or maybe it was a swan and a sleigh or something like that i don't know well there was like a bunch of just like pink they had feathery things, they had furry things, they had. So if your theme is pink or rose gold or blush, that was a really good theme this year for that. Um, I just wasn't as excited about it because I didn't think it was that Victorian in my opinion, but what do I know? All sorts, I'll just keep showing it. But the swan thing lost me a little bit, but maybe that's just me. All right, so they had a couple of collaborations that I saw. One of them, I couldn't really read the name. It was just like a signature. Uh, but it was a really cute line. It was a lot of whites and silvery. It was mainly like whites though and grays, very monochromatic. They had really pretty lanterns that had like a little bit of like a winter scenery or maybe it was just snowflakes, little polar bears, maybe a deer or maybe it was like a penguin or something. It had uh, one little thing that was kind of this tabletop decor that was a Santa with, was it polar bears or reindeer? I think it was polar bears. It's more of what I think of when I think of Victorian when I see this little statue. Not holly jolly Santa, but like I'm in Scandinavia, <laughs> Santa. There was so much to see there. I, I'm literally running out of batteries. That's how long I've been sitting here talking about all the different lines. Um, and I still have another collaboration to go. So there was uh, a collaboration with FAO Schwartz and they had lots of these kind of glass trees that were green and red and I don't know if it was like gold or champagne or some sort of color like that. Different kinds of Santas, big Santas, little Santas. I just remember seeing a couple of different things that had trains on them. Um, some nutcrackers and there was like this little scenery thing that lit up that had this little thing that kind of spun around. What was it? Well, it spun around. I don't even remember now, but it was like this little light up scenery thing. They had this really cute little fireplace thing that you press the button and uh, has a little faux flame in there. Lots of blacks and reds and golds, which is kind of the FAO Schwartz thing where it's like black, red, gold, like kind of a nutcracker classic kind of vibe. Um, and then I'll just keep displaying them here um, if I'm not going on long enough. They also had this kind of peppermint looking section, which you know I'm a sucker for a peppermint section, but they had lots of different things. It was like red and white like looking trees like i uh, was like a red tree with white polka dots and little and reindeer and santas and elves and these candy canes like these large candy canes uh, also they had a whole theme of gingerbread it was like all gingerbread everything they had this huge gingerbread house that was really cool but they also had little small gingerbread houses they had light up gingerbread houses some of them were bigger some of them were smaller um just all these little kind of gingerbread things little gingerbread men they also had some of the um kind of like it's the peppermint looking trees um, but they also had a ton of different ornaments, different colors of ornaments. They had white, they had red, they had peacock stuff, like, like a whole wall of peacock ornaments. Um, and then they had lots of like jewel tone ornaments, like greens and purples and royal blues and then gold and, and then another little 
set had maroon, like a whole maroon looking set. They also had these little like starburst looking black ornaments that were like black glittery, almost like starburst looking ornaments that were really cute. Uh, lots of different options for collections. You can mix and match literally something for everyone. They just didn't have a black line. And so I feel like they need to do a holiday goth line. All right, anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Hey everyone, it is another day Hexmas decor hunting, or maybe just plain old Christmas decor hunting. You never know what we might get into today. So it is November something. November, I don't even know. I don't know, there's just a whole lot going on. Did I not bring my phone? Really? Did I seriously not? It's just another day in 2020 paradise. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so we're doing a little bit of holiday decor hunting today. I figured we'd first go to Hobby Lobby and check it out because I heard they have some black Christmas trees and black reindeer and stuff. So I figured we would go see if all the things. <laughs> I guess I find it so strange because Hobby Lobby did not do Halloween this year, but they have black Christmas trees and stuff. So I'm like, hmm, you, oh my gosh, where are you going, dude? So then I figured after we go see what kind of Gothmas stuff they have at Hobby Lobby, we'd run to Michael's again and see if they put more stuff out. Cause we, oh my gosh, you would not believe the trees right now. There is an orange tree right here that you must see. So just take a little gander. It's right here, here it comes, there it is. Anyways, we haven't been to Michael's since October, since before Halloween. And there wasn't, like everything wasn't out. So I figured we'd check back in, see what else is new there. Then I figured we'd go to Joanne's. If you know, you know. Um, if you don't know, go back to Halloween decor hunting and it was, I don't even, it's just random. I don't even know if it's a thing. But we're gonna go to Joann's. We're gonna make it a Christmas craft store kind of day today and that's what we're doing. And then I gotta go cut my dad's hair. So that's the plan today. Um, it is like 75 degrees out right now. So, you know, it had to snow in October, but now it feels like October. see those trees just then all right so first I think I'm gonna go by Michaels then I think I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby I kind of want some sort of beverage like a something sweet something good yeah front row seat oh look at right there from Michaels oh man the allergies are bad today I thought we got rid of them but here we are All right, so I found Christmas. They had a lot of rustic looking stuff. So they had the like really white kind of farmhouse barn type of look. Wood grain mixed in with white and silver where they had a lot of white trees and reindeer and um, a really, 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 really pale mint green. Like almost couldn't tell they were mint green and glittery. Santas and uh, a lot of signs that said all different kinds of things. I don't even know, Every there are so many signs and all the different ones, but they all kind of said like, you know, have yourself a Merry Christmas and like all the different sayings that are from different songs and things like that, or just says Merry Christmas on it. Just like lots of white sparkly and white frosty looking thing. They also had this little, these little um, plants. It was a really cool kind of mercury glass looking pot with these uh, sage green little plants coming out of it. Uh, Santa that was kind of vintage looking and they had uh, silver sparkly reindeer. Some were laying down, some were standing up. And another area I saw was like straight up cabin style. It's once again kind of a rustic feel, but less farmhouse and more like cabin is how I, I see it. Evergreen colors and what's that like check stuff? It's like a, it's called something and I always forget what it's called, but it's like, it's not plaid, but it's like a check print. Buffalo print. That's what it is. It's buffalo print. Also, they did have some plaid in there. Um, so it was like buffalo print and plaid or maybe it was just plaid. 
No, I feel like I did see some buffalo print in there. That's like really popular in the kind of like country style um, or rustic styles. And they had different reindeer that had the different plaid. Some that were black and white and red, I want to say. Um, like these kind of reindeer with these like little branchy legs and then like a stuffed body. And they had some trees, that like these glass trees that were really pretty. They were this dark green, like this evergreen color. And they were kind of um, tarnished a little bit. Sleighs and different signs that said all different sorts of things. They had Christmas countdown. Oh, they had this really cool thing that was really huge reindeer that was like on this stand. It was like a hundred bucks, but it was really cool. That's something that I would totally get. They had some cool trees, all sorts of glass trees, but then they also had little branchy trees, but then they also had other trees, they had pine cones, then some had cranberries on it and they had lanterns and all sorts of things in this little area but it was all very like green and red and some black was in there they also had a couple i don't know if it was like all one line or just a couple of lines or whatever but it was all the red and white candy cane style so they had a pillow that said merry christmas and candy cane kind of looking writing and then they had just different like the trees that have the little candy cane looking things coming off of it and then they had a cute little candy it was like a plate that was in the shape of a red and white candy and they had uh trees that were red and white like bottle brush trees and then this one kind of like shag tree that looked like it had like yarn like shaggy yarn coming from it they also had some of those um kind of vintage looking deer uh, little fawns like one was laying down, one was standing up, and they were more of the brown color. I've seen them in a bunch of different colors. I got some that were mint from Home Goods a couple of years ago, but these were brown. Some advent calendars, and you just like put your little treats in. And then what else? Some more signs and Santas and little like letters to Santa, little post box things. They also had some little gnomes. They had like a gnome pillow. They also had a little like gnome Santa and they had little like trees that looked like more of like that kind of Nordic or, you know, kind of Scandinavian kind of look. They also had some bottle brush trees, like a whole little end cap of bottle brush trees. Anyways, that's just what I saw at Michael's and honestly seeing their collection this year, maybe I'm just missing something, but it almost seems like their Halloween stuff was better. Feel like they killed it with their halloween lines this year and their christmas lines were cool but they weren't anything i haven't seen before or anything super exciting to me in my opinion so i don't know anyways we're at hobby lobby all right so um just left hobby lobby and they had a whole lot of stuff all right let me just first mention the stuff the black stuff because i know some of us are here for spooky kind of darker holiday decor so they had this whole kind of like scottish terrier um kind of line i guess it was like a lot of plaids a lot of scottish terriers or scotty dogs or whatever you want to call them um pillows that had plaid and it was like red and the green and but within this little line they had these black velvet feeling christmas trees they had tall ones and i think they even had like medium and a short one and uh that were all kind of this velvet feel but that was kind of the first area i saw some black things they also had this other little area that was really cool it was kind of a darker line as well Oh my gosh, these people are so slow. But it was more of a jewel tone theme. So it was like an emerald color and then blue, like a royal blue, and then a purple kind of tones. And they had some glass trees that were, were in those color schemes. So and they also had some black velvet deer, reindeer. One that was laying down and another one that was standing up. They also had these kind of really cool looking trees. They were almost these like paper trees that also were in that same color scheme they also had some lanterns that were really cool there were these glass lanterns that i uh, just have a light inside and they have a black one they have um purple and what was the other one uh, did they have green in that one and blue i think they had all the colors i don't know it was really cool another line that i really really liked that i think might be up your alley as well because i feel like if you're not here for the dark decor 
I feel like some of you out there also really like the mid-century modern decor. Um, if I'm judging off of Halloween, because I know a lot of you really liked that line at home that had the little mid-century modern house. Um, they really, really, the best mid-century modern line I have seen for Christmas at Hobby Lobby. It was decked out. They had everything from little deer that were multicolored. They had like a pink one and I think they had a teal one. They had these little TVs that were like these little vintage looking TVs. They had the vintage looking bottle brush trees with the little ornaments. They also had the glass trees, you know, the ceramic trees with the little uh, lights in it. They had really cute countdowns, like a little block countdown to Christmas that had a little deer, a little fawn, like a little vintage looking fawn. They also had little like um, little signs or little plaque looking things that said fa la la la. Um, it was like a whole explosion of like if you were to walk into a thrift store and hit the Christmas jackpot, like that was exactly what it looks like at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna go into Joanne's really quick and we'll come back to this. I just had to mention that first. All right, we're here at Joanne's. Hey, Jade. You ready for me? I am ready. Okay, I'm over at Joanne's. I'll be there shortly. That'd be great. Okay. We're waiting for you. All right, Love I'll you. be there soon. Love you, bye in my dad's house right now to cut his hair so hopefully i can finish at least talking about hobby lobby and then we can talk about joanne's on the way home if we have to but all right so we're continuing hobby lobby what did i see okay i also saw a line there that was a lot of bright colors pom-poms kind of that neon i don't know i feel like it was out a lot last year like it was kind of this trendy uh, theme on Instagram last year, like one of them, and where it was like, you know, like a white Christmas tree with like these neon rainbow colors everywhere. If you saw it, then you saw it. Anyways, they had a line that was kind of like that. Lots of bright colors. They had um, bright pom-poms and bright, they have these like dinosaurs, I think they were. Uh, like dinosaur tabletop decor that were just different dinosaurs, I think. And nutcrackers, um, they had they had bottle brush trees they had uh pillows that said all different things uh, i don't even know what the pillows said i saw so many throw pillows today i don't even know my brain is not sorting through them <laughs> appropriately uh, they also had wall decor and little countdowns that had like little bright christmas trees on it and uh just lots of bright colors and white like bright white and bright colors like neon colors and then they also had kind of in the same area like grinch stuff so uh grinch like a lot of really cool grinch wall decor if you're into grinch stuff they had probably some of the better grinch wall decor that i've seen all right well i'm almost to my dad so we'll finish hobby lobby we didn't even get through hardly anything so we'll we'll get there eventually i feel like all right <sighs> It is nighttime. Anyways, I was gonna finish telling you guys what I saw. It's in the dark, so hopefully you guys can still see me. Hobby Lobby, we weren't even done yet. There was so much to see. This is so hard with Christmas because there's so much to see. Or Halloween, it's like, oh, I saw a couple things here and there and da da da. No, it's like it's so much to see. Um, I think we ended at the bright colored stuff maybe. Um, so I also saw there was, once again, a lot of rustic type of it's kind of like a cabin once again like rustic cabin log log home what do you call it like a log cabin woodsy type of vibe and there was lots of you know um what do you call it i just said it earlier oh i don't remember what that check print is called already again buffalo print that's what it is Lots of buffalo print, red and black, and black and white, and um, different pillows, and lots of like wooded items, and little trees, and branchy things, and lots of browns, and basically everything I mentioned before, but wooded kind of items. You know, so Santas, and like big kind of mountain man looking Santas, lots of evergreen kind of colors, and maroons, and wooded reindeer and I'll just continue to show all the stuff because I can't even remember all of the things that were in that little uh, that were in that line they also had like a whole little nutcracker area that was lots of nutcrackers and 
all different types of nutcrackers you could think of classic nutcrackers and little cutesy ones and then they had a whole area that was kind of this like victorian looking i don't even know if this was part of that scottish area or whatever but they had these lamp posts and this really cool vintage looking almost victorian looking santa that was red and actually it looked like the santa that was at michael's the one at michael's was kind of like a cream and white color and this one was red and then they had these really cool black glass kind of i don't even know tabletop decor or they were just like these big just like a big glass thing <laughs> that you I, I don't know I don't know how to describe it then they kind of just had up like certain sections that were put together that were you know uh, all gold area where everything was gold gold trees gold reindeer gold uh, angels gold Santas which is like a whole gold area and then they had a whole silver area that was the same thing. All silver trees, silver deer. They had these really cool kind of, where it was these silver deer with these really cool kind of pink, they had like pink wreath or no, flowers or something pink around the neck. I wanna say it was like a wreath around the neck, but it was really cool. Also in the silver area, they had a lot of acrylic things. So they had acrylic snowflakes that were on a pedestal, acrylic Christmas trees. They also had these really creepy looking elf things that I was really unsure about, uh, but lots of silver and clear things. A little colorful area that had all of these um, kind of purple velvet and pink velvet looking trees and uh, just lots of purple and pink and bright colors. I have never seen so much Christmas in my whole entire life. Um, they also had just like random trees everywhere you looked, silver trees, gold trees, colorful trees. They had a tree that had this glitter that kind of comes up and it's just like all, like kind of like the snowman we saw at Bath and Body Works. Um, they also once again had kind of like a woodland creature, kind of silver and uh, white and then some wood like light green wood involved in it kind of thing kind of like what we saw at michael's where it's kind of that uh modern farmhouse is what i'm gonna call it where it's got a lot of black and white and grays and silvers and the wall decor was kind of like that where it's like a white wooden sign with black cursive writing or black writing that would say merry christmas or whatever or you know tree farm or whatever and then they had trees that kind of were wooden and then they had trees that were silver and trees that were white and then they had little woodland creatures kind of like they had last year they had an owl like a white owl and a couple other little woodland creatures that were kind of furry looking and then and then they had some really cute throw pillows and wall decor and oh all the things santas i think that's all for hobby lobby i'll continue to show things if i don't remember things but there was so much to see there so much going on i don't even know but i would say hobby lobby is pretty comparable to at home with the amount of lines they had this year and all the stuff by the way everyone's having sales uh hobby lobby had 50 percent off already michael's had 30 percent off already and joanne's had 40 percent off already so kind of crazy okay let's move on to joann's felt like joann's had a couple of lines this year but they just were kind of smaller i felt like and it was kind of just like mismatch and kind of just everywhere so i saw a lot of wall decor i think joann's has some of the best wall decor in general i say this a lot joann's had some really good stylish wall decor this year they had all sorts of stuff from the kind of farmhouse style with the white and the black and just like said all these different things like you know joy to the world and winter wonderland and merry christmas and all the stuff and they also had ones that were just like kind of more just silver and gold i think there was one that had this whole like it had snow on the inside or glitter on the inside or maybe there was a little bit of both they had big signs they had smaller signs they had red they had gold silver whatever you can think of i don't even know what different lines there were because at my joann's they didn't really there were like a couple of lines that were clearly distinct and the rest was just thrown together so they had just like a lot of different things different christmas trees wooden they had some black kind of like modern metal looking christmas tree shape and then it had little tea lights in it 
they had gold trees they had gold reindeer they had and they had some black reindeer in there too and they were kind of short and squatty so they weren't my favorite black pieces I've seen so other than that I saw a lot of reindeer kind of things uh, Christmas trees there were some really cool kind of bottle brush trees that were in they were enclosed in glass that were really cool and they had some lights in them I really like those they had some really cool uh, nutcrackers. They had one that was just painted all red that I thought could be a really cool vibe if you're going for like an all red kind of, I'm not gonna say evil Christmas vibe, because it could be anything. It could be peppermint, it could be whatever. But if you're doing like an all red tree, all red, everything, like I'm just imagining like an all red room. Um, they also had this little area that was more of these like pastel colors. It was like llamas and gnomes and sweaters <laughs> i don't even know what the real theme was but it was a lot of gnomes sweaters and l and or no no no, maybe it was elves yeah elves in sweaters and elves on llamas in sweaters <laughs> no i don't know but it was a lot of there was a lot going on and they had some really cool like a really cool wreath and a really cool tree that they were kind of this like tinsel but it was kind of, it wasn't fiber optic, but it was like this really cool kind of iridescent looking with these pom-poms on it. Oh, and they had a Santa in that little llama area. And it had these uh, bottle brush tr looking trees that were blue or kind of like a teal. And then there was like a, once again, a whole log cabin rustic <laughs> line. Once again, the buffalo plaid, lots of red and evergreen and black. Um, but I'm gonna sit here and talk to you for a second. I'm just gonna sit here in my garage by myself. No, they had dark like evergreen colors and red and maroons and lots of wooden things like natural wood. Things that said, I don't know, a bunch of different signs and wall decor, different things like that. So the one thing I will say about the kind of rustic line as I'm showing it, there were some things that I thought could easily be carried over to a darker aesthetic. So first of all, they had these really cool Santas that were this like wooden tall looking Santas that were kind of eerie looking and in a sense like I don't know how to describe it but they were really cool. They had some of these deer or like reindeer looking uh, pedestals. Um, I feel like you could easily and I know people are going to get so mad at me because I keep being like you could spray paint it but honestly if you're gonna like if you find a good decoration that you're gonna use and love and put it out there and enjoy it why not make it exactly how you want it is how i see it so anyways um i feel like you could easily take those and spray paint them black or silver and make it what you want because it's just a wooden uh kind of deer looking pedestal thing also they have these antler candlestick holders that kind of have this branchy vibe to them they're just antlers though but they kind of look creepy a little bit and I feel like you could easily do kind of like a sort of dark, creepy, like the witch kind of vibe. If you've seen the witch kind of feel old school folky kind of feel with the antlers. Um, they also had this kind of antler bowl thing, this decorative bowl or fruit bowl or whatever you want to use it for. Anyways, that's that. I got, I'm home. I'm in my garage. We're just going to keep going. So I'll see you guys in the morning. You ready for the holidays. Look at that, Mr. Skeleton. Oh, that's gonna fit on just perfect. Let me just give you a beard. Just put a spider in it, don't you? Hey everyone, so today is another day Hexmas decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. And I got Mr. Skeleton all dressed up for the occasion today. He's wearing, I don't know if you can see him back there because it's a little darker today than usual. It's a little cloudy. Mr. Skeleton, what you doing back there, bud? You having a good time? I got him a black Santa hat. All right, so here's the deal. I ordered a kid's Santa beard off Amazon last year because I was actually planning on dressing Mr. Skeleton up. I don't know where I put that beard. So I went ahead, I was just like, gathering my supplies to dress up Mr. Ske Mr. Skeleton. His head just moved. So anyways, I was gathering my supplies to dress up Mr. Skeleton. Saw a bunch of unused 
spider webs like you know the cotton spider web things and I was like that would make the perfect beard and it would be even more appropriate because their spider webs are spookier than a kid's Santa beard so I <laughs> decorated Mr. Skeleton. So what are we doing today? Since we got off topic, we always get weird around here. We're going to Home Goods right now. I haven't been since technically Halloween season when they first, I slowly started seeing Christmas stuff come out and I wasn't that excited about it, but I haven't seen full blown Christmas there. So I'm mentally preparing myself. And then I need to go to Target and pick up some groceries. We're gonna go see what kind of Christmas they have out. These people all parked like crap, but whatever. We're still parking here. This is the perks of having a teeny tiny little car. You still have a bunch of room on either side. We're blinking still. We're going in to Home Goods. <laughs> That was a whole mess. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> oh man. Tis the season. I'm gonna have to go back on a day, like during the day, during the week, because I have a feeling that people are wanting to decorate this weekend. I know a lot of people who are decorating for Christmas really early this year because there's really nothing else to do. I think that's what's happening there, but the amount of people in those aisles, I couldn't even get down one aisle for longer than two seconds really because there was either somebody down there or trying to get down there. And the thing about it, the reason I try to go early to these places is because I really want to get out of people's way. Like I don't want to be standing in people's way. And I mean, I'm just putting myself in their position. Like if I was just like trying to shop for her holiday decor, whatever it is, Halloween, Christmas, whatever and somebody was just standing there filming, I'd be like, come on, you know what I mean? Let me just say this, I, every time, every season we have something, I, I didn't have something last year on Christmas, but we had something on Halloween where we looked for the Headless Horseman until literally we couldn't look any longer. I saw this snow globe. I don't wanna unwrap it yet because I'm in the car. It's a snow globe stocking holder that like goes on your mantle with a hook you know what i'm saying and it's a snow globe with these black branches these branchy trees inside of the snow globe i've been looking for a stocking holder that would be more my style i have yet to find one until today i almost didn't buy it because there was only one but i know that one would disappear so I went ahead and snagged it. I'm going to this other home goods really quick to see if they have it. And then I'm calling it. Well, no, we got to go to Target still. Okay, so let's talk about what we saw at home goods though. I want to say I got maybe like 20% of the Christmas that was in that home goods. It was on another level of, oh my gosh, I don't even know. So a lot of the things were broken down by kind of color scheme. And so I saw like a whole area of silver and white stuff, which is kind of my vibe. And I think it's a lot of people's vibe because it's always the most picked over. So they had a lot of silver trees. They had silver reindeer. They had Santas with a fancy outfit. They had snow globes. They had silver glittery deer. They had, they had a white and silver glittery deer. They had just a bunch of silver and white things. Um, they also had this year, uh, what made a comeback is, okay, last year, my Christmas decor video in my bathroom, I did a mint and silver theme. We're like these vintage looking mint little uh, fawns. Uh, fawns as in F-A-W-N-S, not fawns as in F-O-N-Z from Happy Days. <laughs> All right, so they had the same mint fawns with the kind of vintage look to it. And they also had it in pink. They also had a silverish looking one, um, but they had a whole little area full of them. Also, there was a whole gold section that had all gold things like the gold fancy Santas and the gold trees. They also had a huge Santa, like a huge stand up Santa thing, a life size Santa. They also had an area that was more like the reds and like the classic kind of Christmas vibes. They had some little figurines. They had snow globes. They had like little like uh, tabletop Santas that were bigger and then small little Santa figurines and lots of things like that, like Santa and Santa's workshop kind of feel. That is actually where I saw 
the snow globe stocking holder that we're on our way right now to go find. Uh, so that was kind of that section. They also had a bunch of pillows, throw pillows, like to the point where I got a couple of shots of throw pillows that you'll see. But for me to get every single throw pillow, I got the whole, I'll show you the aisles of throw pillows so you can see how many they had to go through. Uh, they had red ones, dark red, bright red, green, forest green, checkered, uh, buffalo print. They had everything you could possibly imagine in every single um, like sparkly, glittery, white, cream, silver, gold, uh, everything. They literally had so many pillows that I could not go through them all, but um, I kind of got the aisles anyways, just in case you're looking for something specific for a color scheme. They also had a bunch of fleecy blankets, uh, like really soft blankets. They had every, once again, they had Snoopy. They had ones with dogs. They had blankets with gnomes. They had reindeer blankets. They had just classic kind of a cream colored blanket with um, a red and green kind of floral situation. They had plaid. They had, once again, a buffalo print. Got a ton of shots of the blankets and just kind of went through one by one. Once again, this year, a lot of gnomes. I saw gnomes in just about every single section that was out there. So we're continuing with the year of the gnome. Um, but yeah, that's a lot of what I saw. I also saw a bunch of dishware, but we'll get into that when I get back in the car. I just have to remember to talk about it. All right. Mr. Skeleton, your head's all turned around. All right, just left Home Goods, and I'm going to just show, I think, both Home Goods plateware and ceramic stuff because it kind of all was very similar. They had a bunch of ceramic stuff mugs, cookie jars, they had snowman cookie jars, Santa cookie jars. They had like anything from cute little Santa plates to like cookies for Santa plates to really, really pretty. They had really, really pretty red sparkly kind of decorative plates and some mugs, Christmas mugs with uh, gnomes and Santa and uh, little sayings and sleighs and all the things. The one I just went to though didn't have a huge selection. This one is a little bit smaller. They had a whole bunch of glittery reindeer these large glittery reindeer that were really pretty, um, that were white, silver, and gold. They had some really pretty nutcrackers that were white, and uh, one was white and silver, I think, and the other one was white and gold. They also had one that was pink, that was in this kind of little pink section. They had a lot of trees, lots of different trees, mint colored trees, pink trees, bottle brush trees. They had different colors of bottle brush trees. They had, um, there was, oh, they had some Ray Dunn signs, like tabletop little signs that said believe and cheer and let it snow, I think. I don't remember what, it, what they said. They had a ton of pillows, a ton of blankets, and once again, and they had, they had a bunch of um, hand towels, like bathroom little hand towels. Oh, and then the other home goods also had some bathroom stuff, so I'll just show it all here. They had anything from something that's a little bit more cutesy and embroidered, like a Santa and a reindeer and a snowman and all these cute things, to some kind of sparkly silver snowflakes on a white towel or little Christmas trees. And then they had some soap dispensers that were in the shape of an ornament. They had a red ornament and I think a white one or a silver one, or maybe it was white with a silver snowflake. Um, they just had a lot of Christmas stuff out. So we're going to Target. Hopefully we see some Christmas. I know we will because they were setting up around Halloween already. Oh, I forgot to mention. So while I was at Home Goods, I went through, they still had Halloween stuff on clearance. I really dropped the ball on not going out November 1st because I thought for sure, because everything was such slim pickings this year. I was like, I'm just gonna have to give up on this because there's just not really anything out. Well, then I was just at Home Goods and they had a whole section of Halloween still. But I did see a, I gotta show you this really quick. Cause I'm coming to a stoplight. This ghost pan, it's a Nordic Ware ghost pan. So I looked at the price tag and it was $7, $7 for that Nordic Ware pan. That is a killer deal. Those pans are so nice. I'm really excited about my ghost cake pan. And my one, oh, by the way, I didn't see um, any of the snow globe stocking holders. So we're gonna go back next week to Home Goods. We're going in. All 
All right, I just left Target. I saw a lot of Christmas at Target. They didn't really have a lot of Christmas candy out yet, which was kind of weird because I was looking for some Reese's trees for my husband and I didn't really see any, but they did have some Christmas decor. I don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess I'll start with the first thing I saw, which was this aisle that had a lot of deer. They had like a white glittery deer or it was more like a fawn. And then they had some trees, some glass trees that lit up and they had a couple different looking glass trees that lit up. They had a, I believe one was white and or silver, one of the two, or maybe a combination of both. And the other one was green. And they had a tall one and then one that was a little bit shorter. And then they had another kind of tree that was really cool that looked a little bit different. And it had like this yellow that faded into green kind of. And they had like little ones and they had mid-sized ones and then ones that were more full and ones that were more sparse and things that can be like on like tabletop decor or just, you know, like on either side of a sink in a bathroom or something kind of deal is kind of what I was thinking, or even on a, a mantle, like that kind of stuff. They also had little houses. This section did have some black in it. So it had these little black houses. One was like a church, one was a little house barn looking thing. And then they had these little black deer that go with the little black houses. They also had one that was white and like wood looking, like kind of like a natural wood looking um, kind of, house situation and deer situation they also had some christmas trees i got like one shot i like did a little pan of a christmas tree that was all lit up and pretty in this little area but i didn't get every single christmas tree oh good there's a train so i can talk to you guys they had some outdoor stuff they had like a branchy tree and then a couple of different i think there was like a deer and was there a snowman there was like a bunch of these kind of outdoor decor that lit up and some of them moved and then they had some more cutesy looking ones but also in the area they had these really cool trees that were these like flocked cone looking tree with like branches that wrap all the way around it um they had a taller one and a little one that's a little shorter and they light up uh, they also had another little area that was more of like the bright color multicolor kind of thing i can't even remember what was in that area oh they had those ceramic christmas trees with the bulbs that light up they had a pink one they had a green one and i was it a brown one and it was kind of in that kind of realm where it's more of like the white with the multicolor pom-pom kind of feel. So I'll continue to show it because I am searching my brain right now and I can't remember what else was in that little area. But I want to say there were like stuffed trees and like plush trees and a couple other like cutesy kind of things. They also had some stocking holders. I just did a whole pan of the little uh, aisle there so you could see all of them they had one that had santa boots and another one that had a countdown and, and they had one that had a star and i think there was one with a snowflake and a couple with a deer so there was just a bunch of different ones they also had some of those fleecy type blankets they had some cutesy ones that were more multicolored, had snowflakes and it said fa la 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 on it. And then they had a blue one that had Santas on it. And they had another section that had more of, it was like a white blanket with a red snowflake or that kind of thing. And I think there was also like a green one that said Mary and a red one that said Joy. And I think those actually had one side that was fleece and the other side that was the, what do you call it? The Sherpa kind of, is that what you call it? I don't know. Then they also had the the Santa that climbs up the ladder up the tree again this year and had some cutesy things around there, some light up Santas and a nutcracker and a penguin, I think. I really liked the ornament sets at Target, probably some of the better ones I've seen because I liked the variety and I thought that they were all kind of whimsical looking. They had, uh, I feel like the jewel tones, that's like a big trend this year. Lots of jewel tones, navy blues royal blues greens like lots of like like emerald kind of color and then the pink like the light pinks and the victorian feel is another trend this year also they had some bathroom stuff so they had like a little toilet seat and rug uh set they had one that was a santa and one that was a penguin they had some different little towels they had they had a santa one that was really cute all right, I'm pulling into my drive a bit. Um, also, they had, so they had different towels. One had a Santa and one had all these snowflakes on it. Another towel was more of like the fa la 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 kind of theme where it was white and red. And then was there a gnome or like a penguin or 
something like that um, but a lot of different hand towels also they had some bathroom rugs that were really cute one said merry christmas and was green and had you know the christmas colors another one was gray with white snowflakes i believe and then they had another one that said fa la 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 and another one that said be merry i know i'm missing one and i can't remember what it said it said something was it merry or joy or something like that then i went over to the threshold area and they had a whole other variety of things they had some bottle brush trees that were in all these different colors kind of pinks and greens and it was kind of like a sugar plum fairy kind of vibe then they also had some glass trees that were kind of a similar color scheme pinks and fuchsias and greens and mints they also had some pillows like one was red with a white snowflake and then they had some cute deer uh the there was one set that was this kind of natural wood look and then there was another set that had um a wreath around their neck that was greens so it was like a pop of green on the white i thought that was really pretty um and then in that area they just had different uh just different things different trees and different pillows and that kind of thing the other side had a bunch of greenery lots of centerpieces and floral things and little trees i think one of them was like white what else did they have over there did they have deer i can't remember there was something really cool over there though and i can't think of it they had this really cute advent calendar thing that had these little drawers that pulled out that were cute but they had some wreaths and garland and that kind of thing over there then I went over to the dollar spot, and the dollar spot was really picked over, but they did have a couple of things. They had some little trees and sprigs and little, like, things. Some were full and some were little skinny little tree things or just sprigs or whatever and um they had some little black houses that were similar to the ones in the real section like the real sec like the real christmas section but they were smaller and they were only five bucks and they lit up and they were really cute um and then is that all i saw in the christmas area i didn't see a lot it was very 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 picked over so that's what i saw at target all right, and that's going to be it because I'm trying to do weekly Christmas decor hunting. So this is kind of the end of the week. I'm not going to go out this weekend just because it's going to be crazy out there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Uh, let me know where you guys are doing your Christmas decor hunting this year and what you found or if there's something online that's good. I don't even know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.